This is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning led on C programming. So in this video tutorial we are going to see decision making or the selection statements in C. Actually there are two selection statements available in C. One is if else another one is switch. But here in this tutorial we are going to see the if and else. So by using this if and else you can make your program to execute some statements depending on some conditions. So first is the syntax of this uh, if and else. So it's going to be if then an expression and if this expression evaluates to true then we are going to execute the statements. So depending on the result of this expression you know this statement will be executed. This expression will be constructed by using the relational operators available in C. So if you want to make a complex expression or a complex testing condition then you can use logical operators along with the relational operators. So now we're gonna see how we can use this if statement or this if condition in our program. So for the demonstration purpose I'm gonna create a variable let's call it as age and I'm gonna assign it with a value of 20. So here in this tutorial I just wanna check whether my age is greater than or equal to 18. So if my age is greater than or equal to 18 I'm gonna say okay you are an adult. It's gonna be if. And here within this parenthesis we have to write the expression. So this age then we're gonna use the relational operator which is greater than or equal to then uh, the value 18. So whether my age is greater than or equal to 18. If it is so or if this condition evaluates to true then we're gonna execute the statement inside this block inside these curly braces. So here for the demonstration purpose we're gonna write a printf statement and we're gonna say okay you are an adult so I'm gonna save it I'm gonna compile it and run it so since my age is 20 you know this expression evaluates to true that's why it says okay you are an adult so now we want to check whether my age is less than or equal to 18 if it is so then I'm gonna say okay you are a minor so I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna change my age to let's say uh, 16 save it compile it and run it so it says okay you are a minor so depending on the expression you used here you know this statement will be executed if this expression evaluates to true so you can use the other relational operators like uh, you know less than equal to then uh, greater than equal to then uh, equal to then uh, not equal to then less than then greater than so by using all these relational operators you can uh, construct the expression here so if you want to make any complex expression or complex testing condition then you have to use this AND or uh, or operator that's the logical operators and uh, you have to construct the condition so now if this expression evaluates to true then we are executing the statements inside this block let's say we have a situation where we have to execute some codes if our condition is true and execute some other codes if our condition is false so here this statements inside this curly braces is going to be executed only if this condition is true so now we want to execute some statements if our condition is false also for that purpose we can use the else along with this if it's going to be if some condition is or this expression is true then we're going to execute these statements and uh, if this expression is false or this condition is false then we're going to execute these conditions so depending on this expression whether this if or the else block will be executed so here if uh, if my age is less than or equal to 18 then I'm gonna say okay you are a minor else I'm gonna say okay you are an adult I'm just gonna copy it and uh, paste it here you are an adult so I'm gonna save it and uh, now my age is 16 that's why it's gonna say okay you are a minor compile it and run it it says okay you are a minor and now I'm gonna uh, change my age to let's say 22 
save it compile it and run it as you can see here my age is 22 that's why you know this expression evaluated to false that's why the, the statements in this else block are executed so another thing is you can nest as many if and else statement inside this if block or this else block so let's say if you have to test for some other conditions here in this if block or this else block you can do that so this is it this is about the if and else decision making statements in c so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page at facebook.com learninglight and i see you in the next tutorial